Hello and welcome to Create Your Life. My name is Simone Leah and I am your host and I am so, so excited to be here with you guys today. Today we're going to be having a talk about your mindset in business and how you can dial up and dial down your emotions. Now mindset is so, so important. We all know that what we think about is what we're going to be feeling and what we're feeling is what we're going to be creating. Everything is energy and vibration. So having a handle over our thoughts and emotions is going to be instrumental in what it is that you're creating in your life. So mindset is super, super important because if you're constantly thinking thoughts like I am stressed, I am overwhelmed, nothing is working out for me, your body's going to hold on to the vibrations that you're thinking and saying those words that you're saying to people when they say, how are you? And you're saying, I am stressed, you know, your body's going to hold on to all of that. And so getting a, a real awareness of what it is that's going on in your mindset is going to be so, so helpful to you and making sure that you're trying to come from a place of light, abundance, expansion, using thoughts like everything is easy for me, everything is in flow for me, and everything works out for me, knowing that you have the power to create what's going on in your world. You have the power to notice and change your own thoughts, your own feelings, your own vibrations. You have this beautiful ability to create whatever version of you that you want to be. Do you want to be someone that's always stressed and overwhelmed and worrying about everything? Or do you want to be light and vibrant and playful? You have the ability to create those things for yourself. And so grabbing that handle over what you're thinking and feeling is just, it's so powerful. And I know that things are going to come up. I know that there's going to be days when we're stressed. I know that things aren't always going to work out for us. And I invite you to notice those moments and allow yourself to feel it, you know? Okay. So for example, I was recently staying in an Airbnb where there was very bad internet and I was on a call with someone and the call dropped out and oh my goodness, I was so stressed. This was such a huge problem, but I didn't let that dictate the rest of my day. Okay. I felt that and I was like, I am so stressed. This is such a problem. Where am I feeling this in my body? And I, and I had to work through that and then I had to let it go. I I couldn't allow that, that one or two moments to really shape everything else that was going on in my life. I couldn't allow myself to hold that vibration for a long time. I needed to let that go because that's not the the life that I want to create. I want to create something that's beautiful and lighthearted and expansive. And my business is always in ease and flow. Everything is always working out for me. So even though in those moments, something really stressful happened, having an online business with no internet, that's quite stressful. However, I didn't stay in that. I acknowledged it. I felt it and I let it go. And then I could move forward and and do other things, adjust my plan, adjust. Obviously that that conversation with that person has to happen at another point in time, you know, and I, I adapted. But if I was still in that stressed out state, one, I wouldn't have been able to make the moves to move forward and, and adapt and change and be in flow. Okay. But two, I would have held that vibration, which would have attracted more of that in. You know, it's so important to be aware of what's going on. And that's not to say that everything is going to be perfect. As mentioned, there are going to be moments, but how long are you going to hold on to those moments before you choose to let them go and move forward? You know, you can hold on to that stress and overwhelm for five months, or you can hold on to it for five minutes, you know, and, and it's not to say that you're minimizing it by letting it go. It's just that you're honoring yourself. To me, it's honoring yourself to not hurt yourself or hold yourself down or hold yourself back. It's more honoring for you to let something go that's going to lift you to a higher vibration. It's more loving to you to not be punishing yourself with these lower painful things of stress, anxiety, overwhelm. It's beautiful to to honor yourself and just be like, I know this was not the best. <laughs> It wasn't great, but I I need to honor myself. I need to love myself and holding myself in this vibration is not going to allow me to continue to move forward in my life full of love and light. So taking that time to really just 
honor it and let it go is so incredibly powerful. Now, what I want to give you guys today is an exercise where you can dial up and dial down your emotions. And it's a really fun exercise. I've actually been doing it for years and it's one of those things. It's just great to have in your toolkit and just have that as something that's handy that you can pull out when you need to. So I really love this exercise and it is a visualization exercise. You are going to need to have an ability to imagine something like use your imagination to imagine what something would be like. Now, what I want you to do is to imagine all of these little dials, like little round circles, like you would find on an oven or something like that, little dials that you can turn. I want you to imagine these little dials and imagine that there's dials for every single emotion. So there's dials for stress, there's dials, dials for anxiety, there's dials for happiness, there's dials for joy. And I want you to really connect with and imagine those dials and know that they're there for you and that they're always there sometimes you can see them sometimes you don't by bringing this awareness to them in these moments you can see them but they're, they're always there now what i want you to do is start to get into the habit of knowing when to dial up and down these emotions for example you might be feeling stressed so what i want you to do is to picture that dial and rate how you feel from a number of one to 10. Now your stress might be feeling like it's a level nine and that's not ideal. So I want you to just sit with that nine for a minute, really connect with it and be like, okay, I'm feeling stressed to a level nine. And then I will invite you to just ask yourself, can I turn this dial down now? And allow yourself to be like, okay, yes. Or the question for you might be, is it safe for me to turn this dial down now? Or the question might be, can I let this go now? Can I let this stress go? And ask the question that will allow you to get to a yes so that you can turn that dial down within yourself, you know, allowing yourself to let that go. And it might be different questions. For you, it could even be, can I turn this dial down to a five now? You know, and allow yourself to have that full body of yes, you're giving yourself permission to let it go. And I think this is a very important step because you're feeling the feelings, then you're inviting yourself and asking yourself, can I let this go? And then you've got that, yes, yes, I can let that go. And then you literally watch yourself turn that dial down. Now you might have agreed to turn that dial down to a five or maybe a two maybe you can only turn it down to a, to a two and that's fine sit in the feelings of the five or the two for as long as you need to a couple of minutes and just feel those feelings and do the process again acknowledge it and be like all right my stress is now down to a two I'm feeling a two okay can I let this two go now and then watch yourself let the two go as well now, this is a great exercise because it allows you to connect with those feelings and let them go. There are deeper parts to this process. If you can't get it down to a zero, you can ask yourself, what can I do to be able to let this go today? Or what do I need to do to let this go today? And you might have to spend a minute journaling. You know, you might have to spend a little bit of time just journaling or the answer might be you need to go and move your body and shake your energy out, you know, so there are more advanced techniques to supercharge stuff like this. But a really easy way is just to know that you can dial down those emotions. And on the flip side, you can also dial up emotions. So you can dial up joy. You can dial up love. You can dial up gratitude. You can dial everything up. So if you get a little whisper of a gratitude emotion, literally picture yourself dialing that right up to a 10. Really just sit in that gratitude and be like, yeah, I'm a 10 for gratitude right now. This is amazing and I love this. And dial up those emotions that you want to hold. This is great if you have to go into some sort of situation where you need a certain emotion. So for example, if you're about to go into an interview or 
some sort of presenting or you're going to be in front of an audience and you want to have confidence and you want to feel confident you dial up the emotion of feeling confident what does that feel like to you and then just dial it up really connect with it and allow yourself to dial that dial right up to a 10 before you go and do that activity that you need that confidence for so this is an amazing, amazing tool. And it's so easy. It's one that you can do anywhere. It's one that you can do at home. You can do it in the car. You can do it when you're out. You don't have to close your eyes if you don't want to. You can do it with your eyes closed if you want to. And it's really just about connecting back into your body and your own space and energy field and allowing yourself to let go of the things you need to let go of and dial up the things that you want to keep a hold of. And this practice is so important for entrepreneurs and managing their mindset because it's literally your feelings, your thoughts and emotions that are going to create your life. So being able to acknowledge and then dial down those feelings that you don't want to keep creating and then having that awareness and that handle on those feelings that you're feeling and how often they're coming up and then letting them go is so powerful and it's going to help to move you forward in your business by having that awareness of where you're at and then letting it go and moving yourself forward instead of sitting in things or holding on to emotions for too long or not being able to get any work done because you're in a complete stress state. You know, this is such a powerful exercise and I really hope you guys practice this. I would love to hear how you go with this exercise, you know, leave me a comment, send me a message. Let me know that, you know, you're about to go into an interview and you dialed up your confidence and then you got whatever it is you wanted out of the interview or you're about to go on stage and you sold all like 300 of your products because of the fact that you had that confidence dialed up. You know, I want to hear how you guys go with this. And I really, really love being here with you guys today and sharing this sort of stuff with you. So connect with me, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Facebook, leave me a review, follow the podcast if you want to listen to, to me in an audio way, if you're driving or whatever. But I really hope you guys have enjoyed this episode today. And I really do look forward to connecting with you again soon.